What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here moving on with the inverse of a function. We have a word problem in this video that we're going to do. So every week a car salesman makes $400 plus 5% of his car sales and we have two questions. The first one we have to write an equation for his weekly salary as a function of car sales and then for part B uh, they're asking us what is the inverse and what does it represent. So for part A Let's introduce some variables here. Let's, um, I'll do it up here. Let W equal the weekly salary. Doesn't really matter what uh, letters you use. I'll just use W here because I'm gonna let S equal the car sales in a week. And this is in dollar terms. Okay, so if we make a function for his weekly salary in terms of the car sales, it would be what? Well, it would be the base, his base salary, which is $400. Give myself some room here. It would be $400 plus he receives 5% of the car sales. So 5% of the car sales would be 0 0.05 times that S value, whatever it is. So that is the equation for um, the weekly salary in terms of the car sales. So for example, if we wanted to know what's his weekly salary if he sold $10,000 worth of cars, then we would plug in $10,000 for S. And we'd end up with 400 plus 0 0.05 times 10,000 would give us 500. 400 plus 500 would give us 900. So he'd make $900 if he sold $10,000 worth of cars in a week. Now, part B, they're asking what is the inverse and what does it represent? So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to rewrite this function. So W equals 400 plus 0 0.05 S. Now, usually, so far, we haven't really done a word problem yet. We've been dealing with abstract functions, and the way we find the inverse for abstract functions is we switch up the variables, and then we isolate for that y value. But when you're dealing with word problems, you don't actually switch these up. You just straight isolate for that other variable. So notice with the function, with the original function, the weekly salary was the dependent variable and then the uh, car sales was the independent. So because this is a word problem we're just going to isolate for that s and now that s is going to become the dependent variable and then the w the weekly salary is going to become the independent variable. So let me show you how that works. We bring the 400 over so we'll have um, W minus 400 equals 0 0.05 S. And then to isolate for that S, we divide both sides by 0 0.05. Now, this is a bit ugly because we have a fraction and then we have a decimal in the fraction. So what we could actually do is we could split this up. So we could have W over 0 0.05 minus 400 over 0 0.05. And so W over 0 0.05, there's like a one in front. So one over 0 0.05, that's actually equal to 20. So here we'll have 20 W, right? This one divided by 0 0.05 is 20. And then 400 divided by 0 0.05, that's actually 8,000. And now we have the car sales isolated. So I'm actually going to put the car sales here on uh, the left side. So now we have the car sales as a function of the weekly salary, which is 20W minus 8,000. Okay, and that's what it represents. It represents the car sales as a function of the weekly salary. So now the car sales is the dependent 
variable and the weekly salary is the independent variable. So for example, here I said, what would be the weekly salary if you sold $10,000 worth of cars? You'd get 900. Well, what if we switch that up and we asked, how many car sales do you have to make to make $900 in salary for the week? So we'd plug in this 900 here for the W, 20 times 900 gives us 18,000, and then 18,000 minus 8,000 would give us 10,000, right? So S of 900 would give us 10,000. So we'd have to make $10,000 worth of car sales to make a salary of $900, okay? So notice how it's just this inversed. So just remember with word problems, you don't switch the, uh, the variables like you do with abstract equations. You keep the variables as they are, but you just isolate for the other variable. And when we isolated, we ended up getting this inverse function. And this is the exact same thing as this, just in a nicer format.